Hello there, Divine Masculine Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Divine Masculine? You can ring my bell or ring my bell. ring a ring a ring Oh, Divine Masculine, what the hell's going on? What's going on, Divine Masculines? Oh, sweet Jesus. Hold on a minute. Let's get some water. Let's light a cigarette. Now let's pull some cards, Divine Masculine. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Divine Masculine Collective. Now, Divine Masculine, what's going on in your energy, huh? What are you feeling? Ooh, are you feeling a little stuck? Feeling a little trapped? That ain't good. Let's see what's on there. Happy days are here again. The sun will come out tomorrow. It's all in how you look at it. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you feeling stuck, though? You gotta get unstuck. That's not good. Two of Wands. Yeah, you know, it's like you gotta leave that stuck energy behind you, Divine Masculines. It's time to move forward. Whatever is holding you back, whatever is keeping you stagnant, uh, you got to release from it. It looks like it's behind you. It's just like residual energy. 155 on the phone when I said that. Don't carry that residual energy. You got to let all that shit go, okay? Move forward and, and with, with hope and a renewed excitement. Anything is possible type uh, energy. Well, two wanted to come out. The magician and the star. So it feels like you're doing some healing work. That's good manifest but you gotta make sure you do the finish up the shadow work you gotta get rid of those little vestiges that are holding on okay you'll know if you're stuck if you get triggered by something that's work you gotta do so it looks like you're ready to go in and maybe make an offer um the magician and the star yeah this is this is the problem this is why it's imperative that while you're manifesting you keep your energy nice and, and light and bright and try to see the positive in everything, right? When you're manifesting, it, it's uh, uh, the energy you manifest in will actually tank the energy of uh, what you're manifesting, right? It's sort of that fake it till you make it energy. Find that sort of middle ground and just keep doing the healing work, right? Between the star and the knight of cups is the three of pentacles. <sighs> three of wands i was gonna say work could be looking good a new opportunity in work there could be some travel for work um nine of cups there six of pentacles could be a pay raise in your future uh i don't know if you're looking at a new job or you're looking to do something some y'all may be wanting to add or uh, kind of change up your space. Maybe buy some tools. Uh, three of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. Some of you could be thinking about moving. This could even be moving. Purchasing a place or getting a new place. Or changing up your environment. Could definitely be about a job though. So you got the Page of Wands with the Magician energy here. This is it, right? You know, when you're manifesting, don't, don't do it half fast. This is when you really concentrate and focus on what it is you want. Okay? You have the power to do it. Uh, and it's basically just head over, head over heart. You know, you got to uh, put that intention out there and follow through with it. Uh, even if you don't really know what you're doing, just know that, you know, the energy around it. Um, if you have a bad day, sort of, you know, just, just, uh, mark it off, do what you got to do, uh, have you a few beers, sit back and chill, or whatever you need to do to just chill and relax. Don't carry that energy. Okay. Yeah. The, the death card here, scorpionic energy. Don't get caught up in that, 
in that loop of self-doubt and sorrow and just uh, beating yourself up. Okay, there's enough people that want to uh, knock you down. You don't need to be doing that to yourself. You need to stay very proactive, doing the healing that you need to do. Uh, you know, when you drink a few beers, drink a glass of water in between. Keep your water intake up. Definitely, I see you focus. It looks like work or a home move. Some of y'all, maybe even like home improvement. You could be wanting to do something or trying to get some shit uh, a little cheaper, right? If you want to like replace some windows or some shit like that, you could be looking for some bargains. Or you could be helping somebody fix a place up because I'm, I'm, I'm getting like work energy or a new house, new, new home, new apartment, whatever the hell you got going on. Or it could even be renovations. You could be renovating. Maybe you're renovating for someone else. Um... Between the Death card and the Three of Wands is this Moon card. So Pisces energy. Pisces and Scorpio, man. Do not do not let yourself get all wrapped up in your fucking emotions. Okay, Divine Masculine? Uh, it's okay to have feelings. It's okay to let the feelings kind of go. Right? Process them. Do what you got to do. But don't sit there and linger in that shit. You know what I mean? Uh, chalk it up to experience and move the fuck on. Because that... That sort of doubt, when you allow that, that doubt and that fear to kind of uh, work into your situation, it's just going to get put more pressure on you. Uh, and you don't need that. Uh, as long as you're trying to seriously focus and, and get yourself grounded, do what you need to do, right? Uh, eat you a few salads every now and then. Try to get you some exercise when you can. Um Stay focused and just try to, I mean, try to fucking stay happy, okay? Whatever the hell it is that makes you happy. Queen of Swords energy. Oh, what's between the moon and the Queen of Swords? Ace of Cups. Okay. Okay, Divine Masculine. So... You know what I'm feeling with this Queen of Swords? Okay, let me tell you. Don't don't try to go back to anybody right now. Okay, if that's what has you in your fucking head, no. Okay, get out there. Meet new people. I don't care if you want to go back to a situation. Uh, you could have somebody wanting to kind of communicate back with you. Pay attention to where that puts you emotionally. How do you feel about that? You're far better off just going out there and, and go on a few dates, uh, right? With new energies, new people. It don't have to be. Don't don't try to do any reconciliation right now. If you're still working on yourself, you don't have time to go through and work on a like a couple situation. You don't have time to go back and rehash all that shit. Focus on the new. Uh, if you don't want to date, then don't let yourself get caught up in, in that, you know, woulda, shoulda, coulda type energy. Because that's just going to fucking uh, keep you stuck. Focus on you right now. Because I do feel that Queen of Swords with the back with the Moon card there and that Ace of Cups. That could be some sort of, uh, that could almost be your like kryptonite energy. Uh, and, and there's no use in going there. Because you're just going to piss away any growth that you've had if you stay stuck in that energy. You know, you're better off just staying single than trying to go back right now. When you get out of this feeling of self-doubt and you have a lot more uh, confidence, you're feeling a lot stronger, you're feeling more emotionally uh, kind of leveled out. Uh, really, when you start realizing that you should start looking at new, maybe you could think about going back. Some of y'all, six months to a year for even think about rehashing something, right? I mean, just go go, go to something new if you're going to do anything. Because I don't feel like you're going to get the, the proper healing if you don't. Because this is about you getting the healing that you need, okay? We ain't worried about anybody else right now. Uh, this is about you getting the healing that you need. Going through and understanding your emotions, understanding what all that shit's about, right? You don't want to talk about it. It's not an easy place to be, right? It, it's not fun. It's not nice. Uh, you probably don't have a whole lot of people you can talk to about it. So focus on healing yourself. Make that your number one priority. 
you know, just dive into work if you got to. Find, find something to do, you know, on the side. Uh, I did see the Ten of Wands down here, right? Keep yourself busy. Go fucking build something or go tear something the fuck down, right? Whatever you need to do to, uh, to kind of bring that healing and balance in. Because between the Magician and the Star card, we got the King of Pentacles energy. King of Pentacles is very stable, right? Financially stable, very grounded energy. Can be a little stubborn. This is like, yo, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is usually good uh, uh, mommy, daddy energy, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend type energy. Yeah, between the star card and that uh, Knight of Cups is where this conflict arises, right? If something gives you pause or makes you feel any sort of funny way, don't go there, right? Uh... I don't see the six of cups here, but it feels like it feels like you're going to half-ass try to go back into a situation because I'm not feeling new energy with this queen of swords here. I'm not feeling new energy with that. This is like someone you've dealt with that you're not talking to that you want to go back to. That's that's going to hold up your freaking growth. That's going to hold up your movement forward. It's not to say you can't ever go back, but you need to focus on you right now. You need to figure out what the hell you need, who the hell you even want, and what the hell's going on. King of Pentacles here and the Five of Wands is the lover's card. Okay. <sighs> if it brings you conflict, if it makes you feel any sort of way other than happy, do you really need to go there? What are you going to accomplish? You're going to rehash the same old shit. It's just going to be a vicious cycle again. You're going to put yourself back in your healing process. So you're going to have to start a lot of this shit all over again. And, I mean, it looks like you've come far. I think you're at that point now where you think you're ready to. But if you did, if you, I think if you tried to do it now, you just end up shooting yourself in your own damn foot. And then you'd be pissed off that you did that. And then you just give up on the whole fucking thing. Right? This will happen at the right point in time. But you got to be healed too, because, you know, everyone's telling the women, oh, you know, you got to do the healing work and all this other shit, but you got to do that too, masculines. You got to be able to, to kind of stand your ground the same way we tell uh, Divine Feminine that she does, right? I mean, you got to have safe boundaries in place. You got to be able to, uh, you know, decide you're not going to put out for a while. It's the same energy, guys, uh, that you tell women. Um... This is when partners are equal. Uh, no one has any control. No one, no one tries to over dominate somebody. It's when you're both allowed to to do what you need to do. And I don't feel like you got all the healing that you need because I feel you're gonna go in half ass on something and shoot yourself in the fucking foot, and then you're just gonna get pissed off and and quit doing the healing work you've been doing. Because I do see there's been some work done, right? You've been actually trying to. Move forward and learn a little bit. Understand your feelings a little bit. Get in there a little bit, right? Sometimes, you know, if you need to go build something or tear something the fuck down, go fucking do it. Whatever you need to do as a vent or an outlet. I do see with work or, or moving or working on something, I do see that going in. Uh, maybe you're just helping somebody. I could feel you're trying to get maybe some shit for cheap. Uh, maybe... Uh, I am feeling like building or creating something. Uh, whatever you do for an outlet, right? The chariot here, maybe you work on vehicles. Maybe that's what you do in your spare time to kind of help you out. Um, Ten of Wands here. The Tower Moment and the Ten of Swords. See, this is, this is what I fear is going to happen to you, Divine Masculine. Okay, I want to be honest with you. If you try to go in right now and you haven't done the healing work, because it feels like you want to go back to something. I don't see the Six of Cups here, but it feels like that with that Queen of Swords in reverse. If you try to go back now and rebuild this foundation, it's just going to fall all the fuck apart and you're going to end up feeling like this shit again. I don't see the Nine of Swords out here. I don't see the Eight of Swords out here. I think you've gotten past this energy You've done a lot of work. Uh, I can see that in the cards. Now you're a little tripped up. You're, I think you're just getting a little impatient. 
Uh, you're not uh, maybe seeing the results that you need to. But, you know, when you do the healing work, guys, it, it, it it's not something that you're going to really notice. It's it's so gradual, and it's just usually in how you respond to things. It's what you choose to do, right? If you need to let off steam, you go build something or you go tear something the fuck down, right? It's whatever you use as an outlet. I think there is that emotion showing, but you, um, I really feel you think it's time to go back and try to resurrect something, but you're you haven't done, you haven't exactly. There's st there's still some some holdups. You got something that you're holding on to. There's still a few things that you're not quite. Um, I don't want to say comfortable with, but it's it's like you're. You got a little bit more healing to do. Don't rush that part of it, because if you go in too early and you fuck it up, you're just gonna, you're just gonna be discouraged. Um, work on yourself right now. Uh, whatever you need to do. You'll know when it's time. You'll feel the energy because I don't see the eight of swords. I don't see the nine of swords. So I don't think you're too all up in your head. I think you're getting that sort of. Uh, uh, I want to say like false sense of pride, false sense of readiness. You're thinking, and I seen sixteen sixteen uh, on the phone there, divine masculine. I feel you're you're getting a little antsy, right? You're like you're like ready to do it. Maybe you're kind of building yourself up, but there might just be a little bit more healing you need to do. Pay attention to what triggers you. Pay attention to what affects you. Pay attention to what puts you in a bad mood. Pay attention to what uh, affects you in whatever way it is and just sit down and think about it. Well, why the hell did that bother me? Or or why the fuck did that uh, uh, you know, piss me off? Why the hell did that make me feel sad? Whatever emotion you're feeling, okay? Uh, just sit down there and, and ask yourself, why? Because I feel like if you, if, you, if you go in too soon, you're just going to... It's not going to work. You're not going to have the right tools. You're not going to have the right equipment. It's, nothing's going to work right. Uh, and you're not going to be able to get that foundation going that you want. And you're just going to end up feeling like this again. And I don't see this. So I know you've come a long way. And I'd hate to see you piss it away by just trying to rush in too quick. Right? There is no time uh, limit on this. You got to let it, it takes however long it takes, right? When you're dealing with your emotions, when you're dealing with feelings, you know, there is no set. They can't say, oh, in three months time, in six months time, it, everyone is different. But I like the fact that you're, you're thinking, you're working, you're staying busy, uh, whatever the hell it is you do, right? If some of y'all, if you want to build something, go build something. If you need to tear something the fuck down, go tear something the fuck down, right? Ain't nothing wrong with just uh, ripping a few pieces of lumber, right? Getting some sawdust going. Uh, maybe you want to work on a car. Whatever you need to do to get your mind off of it. Because I know you're doing the healing work. I know you are. I can see it in the cards. I can see it in the cards. Um... So, you know, don't, don't, don't put yourself in a position of failure. And if you go in too soon, you're just gonna, you're just gonna fail because you're not, it, it, the conditions just aren't right. You know, the conditions just aren't right. Uh, you don't have all, all the equipment that you need. You're not prepared, right? Uh, uh, the weather's not good enough, right? Sometimes, you know, you can't do it on a rainy day. You got to wait till the weather's right. So I don't want you to do this because then I think you're just going to put yourself in this energy of uh, feeling like a failure, feeling like you fucked it up and it just ain't going to work. Just wait. You're going to know when it's right. You know when it's right when you're not emotionally uh, triggered, when, when you're not emotionally invested anymore, believe it or not. You're just cool as a cucumber and a lot of you will know you're ready when you're ready to get out there and actually start dating again and not necessarily going back because you know once you're healed get out there and, and and you know try it with someone new see see how dating is and it's just dating guys you ain't got to put out uh it isn't like that okay just get out there, have a few drinks. Get out there and get comfortable uh, talking with women. Get out there and get comfortable, uh, you know, just being single again. Um, 
You know, make it a no pressure type situation. Okay, uh, just no pressure. Don't pressure yourself. Don't pressure anybody else into thinking that something's got to go somewhere, right? It's like, it's it's a date, just, just one, okay? And then get out there, date, have a good dinner, uh, drink, whatever the hell you want to do. I like this Divine Masculine. I like this. But just keep focusing on you and keep focusing on, on the work that you need to do. And you're going to know if it feels right because you're not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to get affected. You know what I mean? You're going to feel good. You're going to be able to weather any issues that come along. You're not going to get too in your head. You're not going to be uh, feeling any certain way, um, right? You don't want to rush in and, and fuck it up because you're just going to fumble the ball, okay? And it, it, you're just going to end up hating yourself for it. And, and going back to this energy, and you are so far from this energy, okay? You don't want to go back into that. It's kind of like tap the brakes a little bit, okay? Tap the brakes a little bit. Especially if you feel conflicted, right? Any movement forward, if you know it's right, you're not going to have any doubt. Uh, and it's not going to affect you in a negative way. You're actually going to feel positive about moving forward. You're going to feel good about it. You know what I mean? Uh, for some of you, whether the outcome is a yes or a no, you're going to be able to take whatever answer you get. You know what I mean? You've come so far. Don't I don't want to see you kind of fuck it up. Because it's just going to make you feel like shit. Right? You're just going to feel like shit and go back into this energy and going to repeat the whole fucking cycle again. And what's the point of that? Not when you've come this far. Not when you've come this far. Uh-uh. And there, there can be feelings there. Uh, you know, it's not that you don't have feelings. But you want to do the work on yourself first. You want to make sure you're fully healed. Before you try to go into a situation and, and bring another person into your emotional feelings, right? Because it's actually going to be beneficial to your partner if you get your shit together. Uh, there's no rush to this. It takes however long it takes. But I don't want to see you get in there and then fuck it up and get all pissed off because you ain't got the right tools and you're kicking and you're throwing shit. Because it... it <laughs> it's just not the right time, not the right place. You don't have everything that you need. It's just not time yet. It's, you know, you're working on something and you make four or five trips back to the garage because you have to look for what the fuck you need. Uh, it's like that type of energy. It's not time yet, right? When you're ready, your toolbox is going to be full. You're going to have everything that you need. So you're going to be able to get it done. Woo, Divine Masculine. I like this energy. I like this energy because this is growth. Just allow it allow it to just kind of go a little longer. Take however long you need because you are so far away from this energy. I don't want to see you go back into this. That would be so pointless. That would be so pointless. Especially since you've done all the work. Because I can tell you've done the work. But yeah, if something gives you this feeling... You don't need to you don't need to address that right now unless it's solely focused on you and what's important to you and what you need focus on you this is the time for you to be a little stingy with your own energy with your own self right do whatever you need to do take however many trips you need to do whatever you need to fucking do it it's like your time whatever helps you focus whatever helps you heal whatever helps you makes you feel good Hell, I know there ain't nothing better than ripping up a bunch of fucking wood and just, you know, some good time in the garage. Damn Divine Masculine, I love that. Doing good work, keep it up. Keep it up. There's no time limit on it, so don't, don't try to push yourself, don't try to rush yourself into thinking that, you know, you're on some kind of time constraint, because you're not. Do the work on you and, uh, you know, when you're ready to move forward, your partner will appreciate it. They will. You can ring my bell. Ring my 
bell. Ring a ling a ling. Congratulations, Divine Masculine. Keep up the work. If you're not there yet, you'll get there. Hold steady, right? It it it, it ain't easy, and no one's gonna tell you that it is. Okay. You process it, you do it however you need to, okay? Peace, love, and light, Divine Masculine.